Welcome to SharePoint 2013 Excel Survey. What is Survey? It's an Excel worksheet with a form for responses. You create the questions, you choose the answer types, but then your respondents fill it in from the link, and then your worksheet automatically gets updated. I'm Trainer Laurie. First, click on New Document, and one of your options will be Excel Survey. When you do that, it'll ask what do you want to call it, then click OK. Then it has an option to edit survey. You can see the worksheet in the background, but it'll say enter a title for your survey here. That's pretty easy. You just type in over the, uh, where you want the title and the description. And then when you see enter your first question here, you click it and you'll see that gear. The gear opens up the edit question option. The response type, and that gives you multiple choices. And we'll look at each of the options for that and then whether it's required or not, whether they must fill it in or not, and then if you want a default answer or the answer that will automatically appear even if they don't choose one. And when you're done, you can either click Done, or if you decide you don't want it, you can click Delete Question. Text and paragraph text are pretty easy. Uh, you only get the option of text, and paragraph text just makes your option box bigger. But when you go to Choice, it will ask you uh, what your choices are. And I see I've typed in three choices, baked goods, handmade items, or gift certificates, and you can have as many choices as you need. Then when you're done, you can click Add a New Question, and you get another question, click the gear, and it will go right into the Edit Question mode. Here's the number type. The choices include fixed decimal, percent, and currency. On the time type, you can choose the formatting without seconds or with seconds. And on the yes-no type, you can choose if there's a default value. When you're done, click Save and View, and you can see what it's going to look like. This is what others will see when they click on your survey link. When they have responded, you can have up to 5 million responses but the optimum view is only 2,000, so you'll definitely want to filter so you only see 2,000 at a time, otherwise it can act very slow. You can edit in the web app, so make sure that you choose Edit, and then under Insert Survey, you have the option to uh, view the survey, edit the survey, delete, or share the survey. If you edit the survey, it takes you back into that area that we saw earlier with the Edit Question option. Thanks for joining us. If you like it, please click like. 